Hello world, this is What's Up 2190 here. In today's video, I thought I'd go over some um, tutorials, I mean, some, some signs on how to tell if your Mac is overheating. Now, generally computers have a, have a, a couple of parts of them that can get really, really hot when uh, when you're you when you're running a lot of programs or you're running a big program or something like that or you have or i don't know doing something very processing pow power stress worthy i guess i'll go with wording that now the parts of the computer that tend to get to get the hottest are the cpu the the graphics card and if you're on a mac the mac well the battery and that is because these are essentially usually, at least usually, the the busiest part of your computer. I mean, sorry, if you're on a laptop, the battery can get pretty hot too. That's what I meant to say earlier. Now, there are several symptoms that can be caused by that can be caused by overheating your PC when you're besides, you know, your PC being super hot, which is, you know, well, <laughs> your computer, I mean. And some of the symptoms can, some other symptoms can include your laps agging, your uh, apps lagging, sorry, you know, your computer just acting very slow and glitchy, and your computer just not behaving correctly and glitching out and doing stuff like that. So how you can tell if you're overheating your piece, overheating your computer on a Mac is is by count is by looking at the temperature and there's an app that you can download from this link and the the, the download page will be like it will be in a different language than english but uh, um it, the app itself is perfectly fine it's perfectly readable so we just want to go to this link and that link and download it click this link but link right here and then you'll get this the iStat profile and then just double click it to install it install it the widget to your dashboard so once you've done that once it's once you know you've double clicked it and it's asked you, you know do you want to install this to your dashboard and you've clicked yes you just want to open your dashboard and here is the iStat Pro widget now you can see all sorts of different things such as how much memory your computer's using, how, how much processing power, and a whole bunch of different, your battery, a whole bunch of different things. But from right here, you, but we're interested in these two things for this video. Now, this will tell, now this will tell you the, the degrees of your hard drive. If, now, as you can see, my hard drive and CPU are about 74 or 74 74 percent for my cpu 74 degrees for my cpu and 32 degrees for my for my hard drive 32 degree and that's and those are actually not bad temperatures to have but if i were to run several programs right now i would increase the temperature of my hard drive because my hard drive would start having to push more energy and all and all that so a good so when your computer start so a pretty high temperature for a computer is would be if my my apple hard drive hdd hard drive got to be like 80 to 90 degrees which is pretty hot for what a cpu can for what a computer hard drive can stand without being cooled down and in which case i could see how much it's having to cool itself down by by looking at these two, looking how much it's powering the fans and seeing if how high these numbers go up. So if the, so if these, so if this degrees right here were to, were to get as high as like 80 or 90 degrees, then I would need, then I would need to cool my computer down. And the way, and the good way to do that is to see, is to, find out what app is using is causing your find out what's causing your computer to do that and essentially what it'll be most of the time is like a stray app that's using up a lot more energy than it should but how you ask how can i find out how much energy my apps are using well 
that's actually pretty simple. You just go to open activity monitor, which comes built in on Max. And uh, this will, sh and then click on CPU. And this will show you how much C how much CPU there you how much CPU a certain app is using up. And if there was one that was like really high that said like maybe seventy percent, I might want to continue. I might want to consider not letting that app running for too long. In which case, like if it is if it was running at that degrees for for a, for a while to help my computer cool down and not overheat itself, I might just close the pro I might just close the program by clicking it and then click this button up here which will end, which will quit the process just either click quit or if it doesn't end click force quit and I can also see how much energy that my apps are taking up by clicking this one right here and if I were to like a if I were to find like a really high number like maybe like in the hundreds or so, I might want to consider ending that app. And I might want to consider terminating that app to help my computer use less energy and thus cool itself down. Now, how I can tell if my, what I'm doing is work, how I can tell if I'm at, how I can tell if I'm helping my computer, how much I'm helping my computer cool down is just by going back to the dashboard And seeing just how much my CPU cools down after a minute or so. To, and then if it cools down a lot, I know that I've done a decent job of uh, of uh, c cleaning up the processors quite a bit. So my computer's not overheating itself, not putting as much uh, stress on its processors and, well, overheating itself as a result. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, explaining, explaining, just, I just thought I'd give you a tips on how to make your computer run better. Some, some other symptoms can include like a blue, of overheating computer can, can include like a blue screen or something like that. So make sure that you avoid that. Besides that, that's about it for this video. Have a nice day. This is What's Up 2190 and I'm signing off.